Um, what have you got? Uh, so John Jones uh, says that, you know, if Tom Aspinall wants to figure this out, all he has to do is give him a phone call and they'll figure out when they're going to fight. Uh, he actually posted a number on Twitter and said, yo, give this a ring, text it, whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out this, this whole who's the real champ thing. Yeah, yeah. No, I saw that. Uh, I don't know when this went up. It was shortly. Hold on, I'm looking at it here. August 5th. So when, when was that? That was only a few three days, days ago. ago. What is it today? Yeah, three three days ago. Um, there's no way that's John Jones's number, <laughs> for one, 100%, because I remember when Darren Till put Helwani's number on Twitter. <laughs> Helwani, like, lost his mind because he was getting spam calls for ages. If John Jones put his number on there, it'd be crazy. So, I, I mean, do you think... Tom tried to call that number. Shall I call that number? Dude, I, A, yes, Tom definitely had to have called no it. No way, just for the no way. Listen, Tom has a YouTube channel. If Tom called that number, there would be a YouTube channel about it. But I'm <laughs> going to call it right now. I'm going to call it. Dude, let's right, see if we sorry. can get John on the show. It's Glenview, Illinois. <laughs> he doesn't live there. <laughs> it's 224-463-463. 7532. I'll put it on loudspeaker. Yeah. How do I withhold my number? <laughs> I don't want to do that. Cellular. I want to block my number. Um, star 67, I believe. Is it really? Is it not star I, 69? No, star 69 is you find out who just called you. Star 67, star, I think. Star. Does it really? Call. Does that work? Okay. All right. When two, I was two, a kid, four, it did. 463 7532. <laughs> I'm like, I, I was expecting it to be some like porn site or something. <laughs> hey, you reached the phone of John Jones. Unfortunately, you got to go through me, Rob Nick Nut, up in Canada to get a crack at John Jones. Tommy Aspinall, but go. <laughs> Did you hear that? Sorry. <laughs> So he said it up with a voicemail. That's pretty good. I didn't know that at all. Uh, he said it up with a voicemail. It's Rob McNutt up in Canada. If you want a shot at John Jones, you're going to go through me. Um, John went to a lot of effort with that. Did he? Or did he just set up a Google voice number and then make that the 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 thing when he was just sitting around with 20 minutes and nothing to do? Uh, I mean, it's a bit of effort, isn't it? When you're the champion of the world and there's a guy right. chomping at the bit and he deserves the shot and he's the guy and you're fighting Stipe Miocic, you're putting a bit of mental energy into the fact that that guy's there and you're trying to troll him, you're trying to mess with him. So Tom calls that number and you get that voicemail. I just want to know from Tom, did he call that number? You know, And what would the response be? Because I'm sure Tom didn't. Tom's not going to do that. He's not going to fall for that. He's not an idiot like me that's calling him live on a podcast. <laughs> um, but what do you think? Do you think that was good for John? I mean, I think it's more of John Jones being the villain, which is what John Jones has been doing his entire career. You know, like he's a he's a known bully. Right. Like he's a like that's everything about him is is I'm going to mess with you. Mental warfare like the that same thing where Tom does like the tap on the shoulder. John Jones has been has, like he pulled that out of the John Jones book of tricks. You know, like Jones has been doing everything he can to get whatever little mental edge he can get over any opponent. So, yeah, I think it's very in line with 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 the John Jones, the Bones Jones persona. And yeah, no, what I mean is from my perspective, if I was the champ, if I was John Jones, if I was the greatest mixed martial artist that we've ever seen, that, by the way, could potentially be undefeated soon, because uh, I know they are trying to appeal that, the, the loss, because they changed the rule, the 12 to 6 elbows, they're trying to get, have that eradicated. I don't think that will happen, by the way, because he did uh, uh, 12 to 6 elbow him, and at the time, that was illegal. Just because they change the rules doesn't mean they can go back in time and change things. I don't know. What do you think on that? Well, I, I, what I think is, did you see Matt Hamill's response? Matt Hamill said he wants to fight him. <laughs> he said, bring it on. Let's go. Let's figure this out. Could you imagine that's the next person that John Jones <laughs> fights? And the twist is, well, this is a chance for John Jones to avenge his only loss that has been eating away at him for years. So never mind Tom Aspinall. This is a man that's already beaten me. I yeah. want John, I want Matt Hamill because yeah. he already beat me. I'm looking for the toughest test. That would be ridiculous Tom um, Aspinall go take care of Cyril Gaon and Alex Pereira and then maybe when I'm done with Matt Hamill you yeah, can fight yeah. me 
No, I just feel like, you know, listen, I get it. John's having a laugh and you're just trying to pass the time of day and you're just trying, kind of trolling him a little bit, you know. I'd just like to see him come out and say, listen, Tom, 100% when I beat Stipe, I will fight you. That is my 100% intention. That is my duty as a champion. And I respect you as a challenger. You know, you can, you can talk shit. You can deliver it in any way you want. But I, I would like to see him just come out for the record and state that, you know. All this talk of potentially retiring. I mean, Dana said that Stipe says he's de Stipe is definitely done, definitely retiring. I mean, if Stipe wins, Stipe wins and he retires, he's already stated that he's going to retire, which I'm, it's not surprising. He's 42 years old. He's been away from the sport for a while. You know, if he beats John Jones, he retires as the champ, makes some money and walk away into the sunset. That leaves Tom in a weird situation. Go on. Do you think, though, like that, that yes, I know Stipe has said multiple times, <clears throat> this is it, he's going to retire come hell or high water. But if you're the heavyweight champion of the world, the interim champion is there. He's super popular, has a big fan base. This is a fight where people want to see this belt unified. There has to be some size of dump truck of money Dana White could drive up to, to Cleveland and put it on Stipe's front door and get Stipe to, to take the unification bout, no? I don't think so. I mean, yes, of course there is. The, the UFC can do that. Dana can do that without question. But I don't think that that would be the move. You know, Stipe's at his career. He's 42 years old. I, th I think the fight that people want to see is Jones versus Aspinall. If Stipe wins and he retires, then you just do Aspinall versus Jones for the vacant belt. I mean, technically, Tom should be promoted to undisputed champ and you can make Jones his first defense, whichever way you want to slice it. But I think that would be the fight. But I think if Jones loses, there is a potential that he would retire as well. You know, but even still, I would just like to see Jones come out and emphatically say, listen, it's not guaranteed that I beat Stipe, but when I do beat him, Tom, you deserve it. 100% you deserve it. You know, and listen, he's having a laugh. He's being funny. You know, he's got some spare time. Who knows? Maybe he's had a drink or two, whatever. He's just having a laugh. He's sitting with his boys. Thought it was funny at the time. And it is kind of funny. Made me laugh. You know, and I get it. I get it. But I just like to see him come out and once and for all say, yeah, listen, let's stop messing around. The shot's yours because you deserve it. You're preparing for a Shavka fight and immediately afterwards, that's a long time. There could be a lot of shifting and shaking happening in the division. And all of a sudden now you got yourself another contender. What do you think about his claim? What he said about Usman, who did Usman beat his champ? Hold on. So he beat, he took beat the belt Gilbert, of Woodley. He, he beat Gilbert Burns. He beat Masvidal twice. Gilbert. He beat Leon twice. He beat, no. or beat Leon once. He beat. Not as champ. Well, no, not, not as, as champ, champ. Not as champ. Um, Colby, Colby twice. twice. So Colby, Burns, Mas Vidal, they were the three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's still yeah. Joe St. Pierre as the greatest of all time at yeah. welterweight. For sure. Simple as that. The, the, the champ, champ talk, bro, you just won the belt. Yeah. 